before we get started, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment PNR in your comment down below. What that's going to do is it will enter you into two drawings. Number one, you're going to be entered for a drawing to win $50 in gift cards, uh, VC, uh, you can win Cash App tomorrow, whatever it is, you can win $50 in Cash App or some type of gift that we're going to give away, which we give away every single Friday. That's number one. Number two, if we can continue to average 10K views on these videos, man, we're going to be giving away a next-gen console at the end of the month. To get into that, all you got to do is like the video and comment PNR down below or LDU at the end of your comment or whatever. Somebody asked me earlier what that does. When, when you guys like the video and comment, well, what it does is it just sends out the notifications to everybody and it gets me into YouTube's recommended so that the people that actually subscribe to me, they can actually see the video. A lot of times, most of the people, they don't even get to see the video and they don't get to see it because the people don't like the video. So I'm just trying to incentivize you guys to like the video. Also, run by the site, man. Check it out. Breeze Teens down in the description. This is going to be, uh, these. this is Lockdown University stuff, man. You can get you a T. Get you a long sleeve shirt, get you a hoodie. You know, just support the cause, man. And uh, like I said, every time y'all like the video, it helps us get closer to that. Also covered in 100K. And without further ado, let's get this video underway. Now check it out, man. What we're talking about today is we're talking about the pick and, the roll, pick and roll and the pick and roll defense. I'm going to show you on these where we did things correctly, where we did things incorrectly, and how we could have fixed the things that we did incorrectly to make these plays work out better for us. Uh, so let's just get right into it, man, because I don't want to make this video be too long. Hey, here we go right here, just, just straight up. I'm trying to deny the screen. This is what you want to do on the pick and roll, and I made a mistake right here. And I'm going to show y'all exactly what my mistake was. Obviously, we give up the bucket. I'm going to show y'all why we gave up this bucket. Right here, I'm denying the screen, right? So I don't want him to be able to get to the screen. I don't want to be able to get to the screen at all. I want to deny him access to this screen. I wish 2K would let me stand here, but it doesn't matter if you stand in this area, you're going to get sucked in by the screen. So that's all that, I mean, it just is what it is right here. We got what I like to refer to as we got the triangle set up and I should be paying more attention. We got boom, boom, boom. And what I'm saying with this triangle, we got Gambit on the backside. We got me on one side. And then we also got Brute, he's gonna be coming up on this side, which means all I need to do is hold my side on this, and then I'm, uh, Brute's gonna hold his side. And then when this guy drops, he's gonna drop to the basket. I need to be going with him to the bucket. And then Gambit's gonna retreat to the corner uh, over here, but he's just here for pre preliminary purposes right now. So look, we're gonna keep on going. Right here, right here, I, I got too far outside of my guy. What I was supposed to do right here, I was just supposed to stand right here. So right, if I stand right here, I can come up here. If he comes, if he comes back, I can uh, I can come up to meet him if he doubles back. But also, what I can do is I can get up under this center and deny him and deny him this cut to the basket. And then I shouldn't have to worry about anything because Brute, Brute is going to be here, and then Gambit is going to take the long run. So he's going to take he's going to take this long run and go to here. That's what's supposed to happen, and you'll see that kind of, uh, you see Gambit step down to bait. He's going to take that right there, so he can't do anything. Brute's got his man, but what I did was I'm trying to chase him through this screen, and this is a no-no. You don't want to do that. I'm trying to chase him through the screen, and what that did was get him the fleece free slip to the basket. I don't want to do that. What I want to do in this situation, I want to say, Brute got him, so what I want to do is go ahead and get up under this so that when he goes to the rim, uh, he can't do it. So right here, as you can see, as you can see what happens, he opens up. I end up, I can't cut him off at that point in time. Brute's got his guy. Mac is in between these two. He's gonna take first pass, but we see Gambit going here. So then Mac's only place to go would be here, but he's also gonna try to cut that off in there. And as you see, when it, when it, when it opens up, he just throws the lob. But when I'm right here, if I just stand up under him, he won't be able to make that cut and then they won't get the bucket right there. I think they got lucky off that lob, so you know it is what it is. Uh, you, you just you just take your you take your dubs, take your losses, you uh, take whatever you can get. Right here, we just played great defense. This is exactly what you want to do. And like I said, I learned from my first time right here. As you can see, I'm gonna get up under him, and we're just gonna show this in a second, and then I get out for the uh I get out for the contest. And uh, obviously they blow the shot, but this is just this is picture perfect. If you could do this every single time. This is what you want to do. You want to find out where he wants to go. We know that he wants to go to this screen. 
I want to deny him access to the screen. That's what you want to do. And the reason that I want to deny him access to the screen this way is because I got Big Mac in the corner if he goes here. He doesn't want to go that way. So I know it's where he wants to go. I'm going to get on that shoulder. Boom. They let me they let me fight through the screen a little bit right here. Now, now I'm in a position to where if he runs here, it doesn't matter cuz Mac is going to meet him here. He doesn't want to come here because there's just too it's just it's just too much help right here. He doesn't want to do that. So what is he going to do? Boom. He's going to come back, try to get me to run into the screen again. It doesn't happen. I, once again, like I said, I want to push him at max, if anything. I don't want him to get the middle of the floor. If he gets the middle of the floor, he's just too dangerous there. So I want to push him at max. So I'm going to sit back on this side again. He still got the middle of the floor. I still don't, I don't, I don't know how that happened when I'm sitting right here on his shoulder. I guess the game didn't register, but I'm sitting here on his shoulder waiting for him to do that. Hey, sometimes they go through you, but... I knew he was gonna set the screen. I'm saying Gambit, I got Gambit is gonna get him. He's already here. I'm gonna go back to this guy, which is which is exactly what I'm supposed to do. They try to throw the ball out. We already anticipated it. I'm here. This time, this time, my pursuit angle is proper. I get there, I tried to get the steal, but when I didn't get the steal, what did I do? I got back up underneath him. I get back up underneath him right here so where he can't go anywhere. So now you see, he's trying to fight, 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 fight. We we leveled him off. Right here, he's going to try to put me into something else. This dude is going to try to replace him on the perimeter. I see him. As, as you can see, you see I'm looking at him. I'm looking right through this dude right here. He's not here to me, but I'm telling Gambit. I'm like, Gambit, yo, you're going to pick him up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come off this guy and get the contest wherever he goes. But I'm just holding him. What I want to do, I want to hold him in this area as long as possible so that Gambit can move across and get to where he wants to go. And as you can see, I'm holding him, holding him, holding him. He thinks that this guy's open. He thinks he's got me sealed off. And he actually doesn't. I come out there, get a great contest. But the most important thing was I held him long enough to let Gambit get into perfect position. Now we switch, get off, throws up a bad shot, bad contest. We got it and we out. All right, so this is another situation right here where, where we're playing the screen and roll. And this is what happens when you do it incorrectly. I did it correctly, but at the same time, it wasn't exactly what we wanted it to be. So right here, you're going to see they're going to try to freeze it. Right here, you're going to see they're going to try to set this up, set this up to the outside. I'm denying the screen, but I'm chasing the screen right now. This is exactly what we want because we're really, you're really pushing them into your help. So if he goes here and tries to curl, he can't do that. He can't go at brute. What he can do is he can dot this guy right here, but he's not going to be able to sit here and take that shot. So he comes off the curl. He's got nowhere to go. And then he dribbles right into two people. As look, look, look. I mean, literally, literally dribbles right where we want him to go. We got Gambit right here. We got Gambit right here. And it's only three seconds left. We got Brute right here. Get a nice little bump steal. And we up out of there. Like, like I said, on that situation, that was just more on the setup than anything. Uh, than anything I really and truly I just don't want him threatening this corner right here even if he does though it really doesn't matter because we got galaxy that should be dropping here but I got plenty I got so much help if he goes here because brute is literally standing in the middle of the floor and then he can't make that pass because brute can close on that so it's, it's just a, it's just a good situation for us so this is one of those where we couldn't lose and time was running down so it's just it's just a bad spot for them Here's a situation where I played it completely incorrectly. Now, right here, what I'm supposed to do is, knowing what we just did, I'm supposed to deny, I am supposed to deny 100% of this area right here. I'm supposed to be straight denying this area. But at the same time, I got Galaxy right here, so he can't help me if I decide to if I start to, if I decide to play deny right here. Uh, we got Brute right here. He might still dot him, and then we still got Gambit in here uh, for help. But what I did on this one is, I try to deny him access to the screen. He goes to the corner and uh, he pulls up. He doesn't hit the shot. He does miss the shot, but this is what happened. I guess he just got too anxious. He didn't know he didn't know he was gonna be that wide open. In this situation, what you would like to see is, you would like to see your, your uh, corner come down and feel that because in this situation, your corner can really play both of these guys right here. So I should be able to just deny him in here and ideally you want to push him to the corner because you got the reverse triangle set up but 
for whatever reason, uh, Galaxy didn't come down. I guess he was engaged with this guy. He takes the shot, but he still misses. Fortunately, we get bailed out. Anybody else in any other situation, we're going to get nailed right there. I'm just not even going to lie to you. Y'all know what it is. But the main thing I'm trying to show y'all is when you're doing this, you want to deny the screen. I hope y'all understand what I'm doing. So if y'all don't, I'm going to break it down to you. I'm denying the screen right here because I don't want him to get into all this open space. Because he get if he gets into this open space, he can come here and shoot here, and it makes Mac it makes Mac uh, be in a bad spot. He can he can come here, and then he can go downhill. Uh, shoot, hell, he he can even come right here and probably take a shot right here if he if he can do that. We don't want him in all that space. So what we're gonna do right here? Same thing. We try to deny the screen. I don't want him to go that way. I should have tried to come back that way. He tries to pull up and see. That's exactly what we want. This is exactly what I was describing, right? I want to deny him the screen here. I don't want him in all of this open space. It's just too much open space. Conversely, if he decides, if he decides, now what I should have done, I should have gone up under the screen and followed him like that. But if he decides to go here, we got, look bro, look what we got right here. We got Brute looking here. We got Gambit looking here. We even got Galaxy looking here. Like literally everybody on the floor, everybody on the floor is looking at you. So when he goes there, and he knows he can't go to the right, he goes at Brute. Look at look at what Brute did. Brute Brute comes off his guy and slides right up under it. And if I mean if that guy's open, it, it really doesn't matter. Gambit can go there, but in a situation like this, Brute can really come here and then get back to his guy if he tries to dot him. The only the, his only play right here is to throw this dot right now. If he throws it right now, maybe he can catch Brute moving, but. He wasn't able to, so he 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 comes over, takes a bad shot right in front of Brute, and uh, we get the board, and we up out of there. And then right here, now he's cold, so it's not a whole lot that he's gonna be left to be able to do. And again, you see me and Brute, we over here, we harassed him a little bit. Hey, but look though, to his credit, to, to his credit, he protected the ball. Look at him, him ball protect, and while he's cold, so you know it's good to go. Now again, this is what we want to do right here. They're gonna come, he's gonna bring the screen, he's gonna come try to set this heavy screen. What I should be doing right here is just denying access to this screen. I don't have as much help as I, um, as I, uh, this time. I just don't have the help. Gambit is here, and he's, Gambit is here and he's looking, but he's really on this guy right here. And uh, Brutus, Brutus just, that, this is just way too much ground for him to cover, for me to expect him, for him to get there, unless we know he's gonna shoot. Ideally, what we wanna do is, See, and that's what happens right there. Ideally, what I want to do in a situation like this, when I know I don't have, I don't have Brute's help because he's too far away. What I want to do is I want to step here and deny the screen, and we want to force him this way because in this, in that case, we got the triangle set up more like that. Uh, I, I can't even draw right now. We got this triangle set up like that. So it's like uh, Gambit's on the back end, and then we got Mac, and then this is what we want. What we really want is for me to deny him all this space. We don't want him to get into that space. We want him to come here and to get into this space where I can get help. I can tell Mac to get ready to help. And that's what uh, that's what you're gonna see next play. But right here, same thing happens. Same exact thing happens as earlier. He comes off the screen. Gambit is already coming downhill. Instead of me trying to do that, what I should be doing is getting underneath this guy right here. I should be getting underneath him and trying to deny that cut. Now he's a center, so I probably really won't be able to deny that. But at least if I'm at least if I'm under him, I should be able to do this. Now here we go. We do a much better job, much better job, right here. Look, I'm looking at what side of the floor I'm on. Here's the screen. We're gonna deny the screen right here. We want him to dribble up here, and then, like I said, I got help. Mac can guard both of these guys at the same time. Plenty of help from Mac. He comes off. He comes off the screen. Look, Mac comes, gets his hand up. He tried to dot Mac. Look, look at him. Look, look what actually happened. Cause I know a lot of people are like, well, if he dots him, you're dead. Look, he came up. He tried to take the shot. Look, Mac gets a hand up, and before he can even do anything, Mac is back to his guy. I'm back to my guy. So you can actually do that. Your corners just have to be active if you're gonna try to do this on the screen and roll. And then, like I said, you're just gonna see the rest of it play out. They can't really do anything. Gambit gets his, gets a good stop. And then, uh, you know, Mac gets a foul on that. But I'm cool with that. We played this so well that they ended up just straight abandoning the pick and roll uh, after probably after this play right here. Same thing right here. Same, It's the same thing right here. 
when uh when when we're playing like this same same exact thing now look i know i got i know i got help from brute right here we got mac playing the back the back end right there he saw mac playing the back end what i want to do is i want to deny this right here but he saw mac playing two people he calls the back door and then uh you know they get a good they they good on them they got a bucket but like i said we did so well that what they ended up doing they abandoned the pick and roll and what they ended up doing was just they just called back doors on Brute because Brute 6 3. So they called back doors on him the whole rest of the game. And it was tough. But you see me right there in that corner. You see right there? It, it was just one of those things where we had too much offense. I finally get a shot in this game. Gambit comes down here, hit, hits me in the corner. Been playing magnificent defense all the whole game. Finally get rewarded. Trades up. Splash down. Now we up four points with 16 seconds left. We know they want some type of three or whatever. Once again, here we go. Here comes the screen. We want to, like right here, we, right here, it doesn't really matter. This guy is irrelevant. We just mark him out. We don't care about him. Unless he unless he does this and pops back out, we really don't care. We just gonna run two people at the guy. And yet again, I guess he still has not learned this lesson because when we're doing this, Brute says, run him to me. All right, cool, I'm gonna run him to you. Boom, he goes through. We run him straight at him. We got Gambit and Brute here. Both of them moving down here. I don't know why he takes this shot, but he does. And look, you can already tell that we communicated this right because look at where I am, where I finally am this time. I'm finally under, I'm finally underneath my guy. So he can't cut to the basket. I think I get a good box out right there. Actually, I didn't get a box out right there. They didn't let me box him out because I don't got box out beast on on that guy. But you know, it is what it is. Ball bounces out of bounds. And uh, that's pretty much the game right there, man. Like I said, you're not going to get the stop every time. But if you're able to get two to three to four stops and force them to abandon their game and then they got to pick on something else. Like I said, we already know that you can do back doors. You can five out and back door all day long. But the important thing is this. We came out with the dub. It could have been worse. It definitely could have been worse. But uh, like I said, we, I think this might have been our first game of the day. Nobody was good. And 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 look, like like we said, same same thing. Run him to Galaxy. Run him to Galaxy, which is my help. And then we both gonna close out on this guy right here. Uh, Brute, me and Brute gonna close out on him. He's got nothing. And then you think that he could pass it to here, but he can't really do it because we got Mac guarding two people. Mac is gonna take first pass, and then. Then I'm gonna come back to this guy, and then if he were to pass it, if he were to if he were to throw this pass here, then Brute's gonna go to the second pass. So it's really nobody open. He kicks it top, dude take the shot. No time on the clock, man, and that's it, man. But like I said, that's how you gotta guard the pick and roll. The main thing is you wanna push him to your help. Know where your help is, know where your help is coming from. Your corner's gotta be active. And the main thing is, like I said, I, I'm gonna show y'all, show y'all one more time, uh, probably on the second play. This is this is what you really want to look for. Uh, just push him to your help. Push him, keep him from the most dangerous part of the floor is what I'm trying to say. And like I said, you got to understand where your help is coming from. You got to understand the rotations and hope that they can't find your rotations when you're trying to do it. Like I said, it's probably as clear as mud right now, man. But y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Um, and I'm gonna holler at y'all next time. Till next time. That's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, speak.